Hello, another video from the Angry Photographer. Now, a number of people have actually brought this up about various lenses, including the Tekina 100mm uh, 2.8, which I have here on the right. Um, just as an example, I have the 85 here. Uh, to get to the point, uh, every lens has its own character. In other words, uh, not a specific individual lens, but all the Tekina 100mm 2.8s. As an example, in bright sunlight, say you're shooting out in a really bright day or doing some beach shots, I will typically, regardless of whether I'm using uh, my D7100 or D810, have to underexpose by uh, a third of a stop up to three quarters of a stop. Now that is normal. It has nothing to do with the lens being defective. I've had a few people report back. It's like, well, you know, I shoot these really bright shots around the beach. I notice I have to drop my uh, exposure by three quarters of a stop to get the correct uh, exposure on my Tekina. The same is true, most especially true, of uh, all the older AI and AIS lenses. Many of them, most all in fact, you know, regardless of how advanced uh, your metering is on your camera, will require that you know that, okay, right now I've got the 50mm f2 on my uh, Canon, I mean my Nikon, and uh, I need to uh, adjust the exposure X amount one way or the other. I've got the Tekina 100mm 2.8 and I need to, I'm doing a beach shot right now or I'm out in a really bright field, I need to drop my exposure down by a third or three quarters of a stop. This is normal and uh, it's existed that way. Uh, this isn't the case with all lenses but certain lenses and there are a lot of them and uh, most all of the older AI and AIS lenses you will notice that your meter, say you're in manual mode, and it says you have perfect even exposure and you'll notice like no it's like a stop off or half a stop off and that is normal and uh, you're just going to have to learn that each lens especially larger categories of lenses like the older manual AI and AIS lenses or the Stikina and several other Nikkors have their own character, their own quirk their own personality there's no way around that you are just going to have to remember that. I mean, if you got if you got 80 lenses, that might seem like a lot to remember, but most of you don't. Uh, you know, you only got a few, and uh, you'll need to know like your brothers or your sisters. You know, you know, um, my sister Bob, my sister so and so has got this little quirk. She doesn't eat uh, hot pockets, or you know, <laughs> each one of your lenses has its own personality and quirks and uh, has nothing to do with the lens being bad or a defect in your camera. This is normal and uh, you're going to have to deal with it. That really is the short, uh, short and simple of it. Um, but that's normal and uh, once you figure out what it is, I mean it's no big deal. So uh, just wanted to make that important point because I've had more than a few people ask me about that but I plan on making a video on that anyway. So catch you later. Another video from the Angry Photographer. So just remember to please keep that in mind. Okay?